fact, I've never shared this recipe before. It's so incredibly powerful. So this next step is really gonna help you lose weight at lightning speeds. And what that means is you're gonna have that better sex drive, you're gonna have more energy and that alpha male mentality in the gym. Just three simple things you can change that will help you lose weight and that will just keep you going, you know what I mean? We see them everywhere. Miracle cures, fat hacks, and new super slimming styles, they all define a version of beauty. The media suggests that you can lose weight quickly through a simple pill. We have found through our research that not only do these pills generally not work, they are often very dangerous and could threaten your life if misused. The percentage of adolescents in the UK that have been diagnosed obese has increased from 5% to nearly 20% in the last 10 years. There are a lot of horror stories surrounding diet pills and slimming aids. How exactly do they work? Are they good to use? And how do they impact your health? 58% of teenagers have experienced feelings of jealousy, negativity or insecurity as a result of social media. We always want to make sure we look at our best. To combat this, people try these extremes to look better quickly. Do these diet hacks really work? Let's find out. Hi, I'm actor Andrew Phipps. I graduated from drama school last year and I know how important it is to look and feel good. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do certain challenges from the normal and the mundane to the crazy and the fad. Welcome to Big Fat Lies. I'm here in Chatham today and I'm gonna have a photo shoot with my friend Carly. She's gonna take my photo and show me how I can look sliver in pictures. And hopefully I can take a few of those tips away with me to see how I can look slimmer on camera in future. Wish me luck. Hi, I'm Carly and I studied uh, photography at Mid Kent College and I'm here to tell you how to look skinnier in photos. Number one, I would say uh, the po pose you make in photos can make you look skinnier. It depends how you do it. The lighting can affect how you look because in some photos you can look really skinny or really big and it depends on what light you have, you have natural or whether you have like light from a bedroom light bulb. Uh, finding a shade you can look skinnier because not everything is exposed so you can have a full body photo and not everything will be exposed. Confidence plays a big part in it so if you're confident with how you look and how you feel in yourself you'll look and feel a lot more skinnier than you, than you are in photos. Yeah, yeah, actually it felt really, really good. Um, it was a lot of fun. And I kind of forgot myself for a little while, which is really, really positive and probably brought out the best side of me. I mean, everybody wants to look at their best, but I think a photo shoot with the right person can make you feel more confident about the way that you do look as opposed to the way that you wished you looked. I'm here today at John Lewis where I'll be chatting to one of their personal shoppers to find out what tips, tricks and style hacks they can offer to make me look slimmer without actually having to lose weight. Okay, so I'm with Ryan and we're at John Lewis and he's going to tell me a little bit about formal wear. Ryan, do you think you could be able to pick me out some formal wear sure to can. make me look slim, healthy and suave? Sure can, definitely. Okay, Ryan, what do you recommend in terms of formal wear? Yeah. Uh, so someone like me who wants to look slimmer, would you recommend stripes or would you recommend something I'd plain? I'd recommend something plain, to oh. be honest. And you can also do a pattern with the tie. I see, that's, that's what I would recommend. I see, so you think the tie might be able to distract away from yeah. the shirt and it gives another sort of a centerpiece to the body? I would say so. The tie, a nice tie is always a good look. Okay, sure, sure. And in terms of the the kind of the, the jackets and the trousers, would you go for something a little bit more fitted or would you suggest something a bit more baggy for a larger gentleman like myself? So John Lewis offer a tailored fit, which is in between a slim fit and a regular fit, mm -hmm. and that's for gentlemen that are a bit larger in the shoulders and a bit broader in the chest, and that fits larger.
So for something a little bit more casual, could I afford to go baggy or do you think fitted or do you think... I would always suggest make sure it's fitted. Uh, not fitted, maybe tailored. So you can have something like an open shirt with a white t-shirt. Uh -huh. That will always attract brighter colours and make you look a little bit slimmer. Especially with like a pair of neutral coloured trousers. Amazing, amazing. So for someone who is a bit bigger like myself, would you recommend normal shorts or three quarter lengths or...? Three quarter length shorts may be a bit out of fashion nowadays. Oh, okay. So you normally tend to go to cargo or chino shorts. Chino shorts are very in now. Thank you so much, Ryan. It's been absolutely wonderful to have you taking me around and being my personal shopper for today. In today's selfie-obsessed society, we constantly have to be prepared to be photographed. Cameras are everywhere, and when anyone can instantly upload snaps to social media, it doesn't make you feel overly confident about your body image. So, after talking to Carly, you can see how much better my selfie on the right is after my selfie on the left. You can see that I've turned my chin a little bit, which means that my jawline is shown, making me slimmer. The lighting is so much better, and uh, my own personal guilty pleasure, I've put a little bit of a pout into there. Anyway, let's get sweaty and strewed. Supposedly, a high-intensity workout that uses all core muscles can help burn weight quicker than a full gym workout, and can help build more body confidence. So I'm here today at Pole Fitness to put this life hack idea to the test. I'm just really excited to be getting on with this and knowing what I'm going to be doing. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're going to teach me today? So basically what we're going to do is you strangle the pole. You're going to get used to the apparatus first. So it's an issue. Going in a circle sometimes can make people a little bit dizzy sometimes. Basically you can work on your coordination. Make sure you can hold the pole properly. That's the first thing you're going to get to walk around in the circle. We have a lot of friends here, everyone gets on really well, everyone's really supportive of one another and that's something that isn't necessarily in all different sports, like the gym's more individual and you don't make as many friends, whereas here it is really supportive and a great environment. I found that a lot of fun actually, um, I mean it's definitely a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, uh, but generally yeah, it was, it was really really fun and it did actually make me want to achieve more, especially with that last bit with my leg above, I think that would be something that I would look to do in the future. We're here today in the quiet town of Saltdean to interview Jane Hopper. She's a qualified nutritionist who will hopefully give us some important answers about slimming pills and fad diets. Hi, um, my name's Jane. I, my company is called Reach for Nutrition. I'm self-employed. So we're very much a taking a pill society. Um, so the doctor, you'll go to the doctor and the doctor will say, okay, take that. And unfortunately what it usually does, it just masks everything. And little by little things pop up all the time. And they're, you know, uh, even though you're masking the symptoms, you're not actually getting to the problem. Do you think the media pressurises us to feel we have to look a certain way? Mm, absolutely. I mean, all the, um, the magazines out there, they're all pushing for this slim zero size, which is just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous to, uh, to achieve, especially with all these selfies and, you know, and all the Instagram and the Twitter and everything else, you know, it's all, <laughs> all this. And, you know, you have to look good and, you know, it's all this angle up so you look slimmer and because all the celebs are doing it. How does exercising every day or regularly affect general well-being as well as the possible weight loss effect? It's really, really important as a youngster to do lots of exercises because it lays down the foundation of your bone structure. The osteoblasts are built up to a nice protein uh, matrix and that builds up nicely so that um, you, know, you get a nice sort of bone matrix. What is the biggest problem most of us encounter when trying to lose weight? Well, um, snacking is probably the big issue and choosing healthy snacks really. You know, fruit, vegetable crudités, um, you know, hummus to dip in, um, nuts, seeds. You should be really be snacking on that and if you're snacking on that then you can't really go wrong. It was really interesting to see what Jane said, and I certainly will be thinking about how I can eat more carefully from now on. 
Even before I started this project, I was trying to lose weight, and by doing this documentary, I've realised that there are no quick fixes to feeling good or even just losing weight in general. Only through sustained exercise and healthy eating can one lose weight. And actually, I was surprised to learn that more exposure to the camera helps me become more used to the image of myself. It can only be a positive thing. And that's it for Big Fat Lies. We hope you've had fun, and the main thing we've learnt really is just to be yourself. That's all anyone can ever ask of you. Take care.